Well, I don't have a clue on when I last stopped filming. Um, probably the battery box, I think, I filmed. But uh, since then, I've gone ahead and gotten most of the wiring hooked up to make the car work. I've got all the lights working now. I had a problem with the passenger side turn signals. And it was dimmer and faster on that side, but it also flashed both sides. And it wouldn't flash at all when you had the running lights on. So it was crossing over or bridging over to the um, running light wire. The signal wire was crossed over, which is uh, these two wires here. So it's either in that socket or it's behind the socket. For now, I just wiggled it and it's working. Um, I would like to get it fixed or replaced, but for now, I'm not going to. Um, I had a radiator in here. I had it full of coolant started it up <clears throat> i was standing on this side looking at everything making sure everything was good and i could feel water hitting my face or liquid anyway and uh come to find out there's a hole in the radiator so took radiator back out priced one out uh uptown they want 800 bucks for one so i went ahead and ordered a 300 dollars one online hopefully it'll be here in time there is a mishimoto about an hour and a half from me for only 700 thought about going to buy it but i i just can't see spending that kind of money on radiator for this car um but i got all the lights working i got the brakes the brake lights working i don't have the reverse lights working yet um i think i can make those work though i figured out the wiring for the get rag it's just a switch on the side of the transmission but um I got dome lights that come on when the door opens. I've got uh, the signals are running off the factory switch. Um, I've got the motor starting off of the factory switch. Um, what else do I have going on? Oh, I got my throttle pedal figured out. I think I might have filmed that little bracket that i made that goes through the firewall um got the hydro boost bled that was a friggin nightmare it took about two hours but we finally got it all bled so we got power steering power brakes now um i made that goofy little valve cover i never seen one made of wood so thought i might do that <clears throat> it's just made out of roughs on eastern cedar and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and probably sand it down and sand it down just a little bit and uh, seal it or stain it and seal it and then put it back on there. Um, oh, I got the fuel shut off solenoid wired up, obviously, because it's started and shut off with key. So that's working good. Um, I've got. Uh, made this little bracket here it's just one screw on the bottom and then zip ties and then a screw into the here i was gonna put another screw over here but i don't know if i like that bracket just yet so i'm just gonna leave it for now and that's why the zip ties are here too because i don't want to put bolts in and i was being lazy so we'll see how that bracket works uh that's for the clutch pedal and so far i'm pretty happy with it i think it's gonna work just fine um, I made this little cover here for the fresh air, <clears throat> um, where the fresh air goes into the cab. I just blocked it off for now and put a couple grommets in there and I'll run all my wiring and my gauge wiring through there and stuff like that. I've still got this to cut out. It looks awful right now and it's probably going to look kind of weird when I'm done, but I don't care. Um, I did get the trunk pan where the uh, spare tire used to go. I got that welded in. Um, I was getting really rusty here and here, so I'm just going to go ahead and put some seam sealer on it and call it good. Made seam sealer up in there as well. And a couple other spots like there. This here, I'll probably do just a little patch and then I'll do seam sealer across here. Um, yeah, I've got, uh, quite a few things knocked off the list. Um, I had a ton on the list, but I've been wiping away everything that I've done, and, 
I've still got quite a few left to do, but it's coming along. It's uh, I've had a couple pretty big setbacks, like the radiator, and uh, I forgot to order a fuse block, so I can't do I can't really do any of my wiring legit any more than I already have until I get that new fuse block. Um, it won't be here till Tuesday. Um, so yeah, I've got, uh, I gotta get this floor cleaned out and wire wheeled, seam sealed and painted. And, uh, yeah, I wire wheeled most of the trunk. I've got a little bit more to do back there. Um, I'd like to figure out the stereo, makes the factory stereo work. I've got power to it, but that's all I've got figured out so far. So, um... Yeah, for now it's going to be going to be the way it is, I guess. Um I'm trying to think what else I got figured out on this. I can't figure out the wipers yet. I did figure out the uh blower motor works, the factory blower motor, but the factory switch ain't no good. So, I'm going to get a three-way switch and swap out with that and then just poke it through there. Um yeah, I can't figure out the wipers. I don't know if it's... I haven't pulled it out yet. I need to pull out the switch and see if I've got power to the switch. See if I've got uh, power going through the switch when you switch it. And then if I have both of those, then it's something to do with the wiper motor. Um, oh, and that fuse just blew again. That's great. I don't know why that... It lasts for about two hours, and then it blows, so... And it might be because I was just messing with that. I don't know. It might be something else going on. Um, so, yeah. And that's not good because that's uh, the same switch as our brake light switch. Or the same fuse that our brake light switch runs through. I may have to change that over. Um, yeah. Got to figure that out for sure. Anyhow... Uh, just trying to give you a little bit of an update. I got, uh, the wiring to do the alternator. I just haven't done it yet. I got a filter for this yesterday. Um, oh, I got my hoses run into my factory heater core and I filled all the coolant and then had a leak in the radiator, so. I got the factory wiring going to the fan. I did test the fan, so, and then I did run power to it and made sure the wiring was good, and it is. Um, I guess that's all I got for it right now. Ain't much of an update, but, oh, I get a, I got a mirror. My buddy had a mirror, and uh, I had to rob parts from the old mirror, wherever it's at, right here, and uh, I made it work, though. I just robbed the backing plate and because this the backing plate he had didn't have screws in it and I tried to put my screws in it and they weren't the same thread so I just stole my backing plate out of that one <clears throat> but now we have a mirror that has glass in it so that's pretty cool I'm not sure if I should leave this sticker on here and make people guess or if I should just have no sticker or put a coven sticker on it or what I should do but I cut the uh cut the inner fenders out some more kind of matches the frame height a little little bit now the tires don't rub uh the tires do not rub on the front we got probably three inches right there and when it turns we've got probably an inch inch and a half so I'm pretty happy with that for now, I'm gonna get back to welding. I've got a bunch of fabbing to do and bumpers and cutting this out and welding. And I got a busy day, so we'll catch up with you later. Well, I got to making uh, seat brackets and uh, these 2004 to 2008 Grand Prix seats. Um, these came out of a GXP, so they got the cloth inserts. But uh, their, their front mounts are riveted. I didn't really feel like drilling out the rivets. 
could have ground them off, but then I have to take the plastic off, and it was just going to be time consuming. This was time consuming as well. I used a uh, grinder and jigsaw to make these. But uh, it's inch and a quarter tubing by a two inch, uh, quarter inch wall, I believe, or a three sixteenths wall, maybe. Pretty hefty, though. A lot heftier than what the Grand Prix was mounted to, actually. And it's just as hefty, if not heftier, than the actual mount there. So, they just had two slots in the unibody of the car. Uh, what I did is just made this, and I'm going to either weld this or bolt this to the frame, or to the floor of the car. So, And then the rear just bolts on. Pretty simple. Took a little bit of time, but well worth it. Now they'll pop out and then easily enough with two bolts.